welcome to Dan's Arms Gaming and today we are going to have a look at NVIDIA's RTX 4000 touring card for the mid-range market and some DDR5 RAM. So to kick things off with let's have a look at the uh, 4000 Quadro. So as we know August 2018 uh, was RTX uh, territory for NVIDIA and they released the uh, 2070, 2080 and 2080 Ti and then they released three quadros, the 8, the 6 and the 5000 RTX quadros. Now they're releasing the 4000 quadro for the mid-range market of visual creators. So the, the source that I'm using is bittech.net and I won't run through it all, but let's compare the 5000 to the 4000. Um, so the 5000 packs 3072 CUDA cores, 384 artificial intelligence boost in tensor cores and 48 ray tracing cores. 4000, however, drops to 2,304 CUDA cores, 288 tensor cores, and 36 ray tracing cores. So quite a significant uh, step down from the 5000 series, obviously as you would do if it was going to be a lower end card. But obviously this is aimed towards the mid-range, so would have liked to have seen a, a few more CUDA cores and tensor cores and ray tracing cores in there. However, you know, the, uh, the specs aren't just reduced there either. Uh, so it takes a performance hit on having 11.2 uh, teraflops of uh, FP32 down to 7.1 teraflops of FP32. So again, quite a, a big jump there. Um, however, the cards are on a positive note on performance are going to draw less watts. So again, uh, going to consume less power and not have uh, or overheat as much. Um, and the price is going to be around about 900 US dollars or 700 Great British Pounds excluding the tax. Um, however, ray tracing technology is still very new and still is very restricted and is aimed towards those having deep pockets. So, not bad. Um, again, quite good for mid end uh, visual content creators. Um, but would have liked to have seen some more performance there and if you want to go and check it out the link is in the description below to go to bittech.net to read in more into this subject and find out a bit more about our RTX 4000 Quadros. So um, I've now gone on over to uh, um, Anantech sorry, and uh, SK Hynix developed the first 16 gigabyte DDR5 uh, 5200 MHz memory chip so this is fantastic news so we're going to be looking at having DDR5 uh, RAM in 2019 sometime probably quarter two quarter three would be looking into that and yeah it's it's going to be huge so 16 gigabytes of DDR5 uh, per stick um, so you can fit in what 3264 128 gigs into certain bo uh, certain boards which is going to be amazing and it supports a 5200 MT-SEC pin data transfer right. So, yeah, that's, that's quite a lot. It's going to be 60% faster than the current DDR4 32 megahertz um, uh, RAMs that we've got. And it's going to operate at 1.1 uh, volts, which is 9% uh, decrease in the operating voltage. So it's going to be cooler. And it's going to be faster so they're working on their 10 nanometer generation class uh, for this and yeah the lineups obviously are 8 16 and 32 capacities and the data transfer will obviously range from 32 uh, 3200 megahertz being the native for this all the way up to 6400 megahertz and yeah I've, I've, I've looked through here they have got a uh, new design for the dim so if I just scroll in here um, so not to get mixed up with DDR4, DDR5 has shaved off these here. So your pins there are sort of sort of a curve uh, that they've done it to stop you from obviously uh, trying to insert DDR5 into DDR4. Uh, still going to come on 288 pins, uh, so he's going to fit most. And overall, uh, Jeddic expects DDR5 to bring in the I/O speeds ranging from 4266 to 6400. Um, with a supply voltage of 1.1 and obviously allowable fluctuation range of about 3% which is about point, what is it, 0.03 volts so 
yeah, it's it's very very interesting, and very good read, and that's from uh, obviously a Nantech, which the description will be in there as well. And if you want to go and check out a bit more on it, I've also got Jedek announced to double the bandwidth, um, which is going to be quite quite interesting. So um, they're looking at the obviously DDR4 covers chips up to 16 gigabits of 2133 megahertz native RAM up to 3200 um, rate per pin that is and 32 gigabytes of ICs um, with uh, 4266 to 6400 um, however DDR5 sustains 64 gig uh, 64 bit interface memory modules and uh, so a single sided 32 gigabit or gigabyte sorry um, um, DDR5 6400 dims with by not five, fifty one point two gigabytes bandwidth in DDR five era. Um yeah, like I said, it's it's more user friendly interface, it's gonna be quicker, it's gonna be much more powerful, it's gonna operate at lower voltage, and um yeah, we're we're gonna be hopefully seeing more of this in twenty nineteen, as I said, quarter two or quarter three, hopefully they're gonna release some more specs and um hopefully the sales path um we could be by the end, by 2020-2021 around there be using DDR5 constantly in our systems and obviously as you can see here there's the um, the curve on the 288 pin uh, RAM stick for PCs or desktops and then obviously that's going to be your DDR5 RAM stick for laptops but that's from Anantech so yeah it was just a quick one to today guys just to you know cover Nvidia's 4000 RTX Quadro card and obviously uh, some DDR5 um, update of their RAM. So yeah, obviously I'll bring more to this when I find find it out. But that's it all for today, guys. Thank you for coming along and watching. Please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe and click the bell icon for more updates. And I shall see you all in the next video.